Hi, in this particular video we are going to talk about how one can install Coco Sandbox. Uh, Coco is a sandbox that uh, basically is used for dynamic automated malware analysis. So uh, you don't need to you know go ahead and fetch any executable and go ahead and uh, you know find out the memory dump API calls. Coco will do everything for you. So uh, how we go ahead and do that? Basically, this is not an installation video. This is just to show you how exactly the whole process works. The, uh, if you are interested in installation your own Coco Sandbox, uh, I have mentioned the default installation URL in the video, uh, actually in the blog post. So you can install it from here. Okay, <coughs> and blog post link uh, can be seen in the description. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, before in, uh, starting the cuckoo, I need to, uh, you know, run the virtual box. So I need exactly three root terminals. And the final is for submission. And here I am going to run the virtual box. <coughs> Okay, let's quickly restore the current state of machine. There it is. Now let's go ahead and run the Cuckoo Sandbox. Uh, okay, one machine has reloaded. Now it's time to submit the uh, malware for the analysis. Game.exe. It says success uh, added as a task with ID 3. Now it is anal uh, analyzing, and you guys can see the activity right here. It is going away. Now uh, you guys will see here soon the uh, success log. Okay, it says uh, process capture file is here and uh, file has already exists because i have analyzed uh, analyzed it already and here is the report you guys can see the task 3 analysis procedure completed okay now let's go ahead and copy it move to this directory And if we do a quick ls now we can see here the binary folder this is basically uh, not a folder this is a same link symbolic link analysis.log dump.pcap cuckoo.log uh, files logs screenshots and a lot of other stuff so now if we go ahead and look at the screenshots how do we go about that okay i am going to click here and Cuckoo here in storage analysis 3 and shots. Now you can see all the screenshots that were taken during the uh, malware analysis. Okay, now uh, next, what we can uh, you know do from here is look at this dump.pcap file. So I'll quickly uh, run the Wireshark. and open dump.pcap file here you can see 6.10 browser protocol it is actually sending the request to 
are your SMB mail set protocol workstation and all the details here you guys can clearly see okay one thing more uh, I would like to you know analyze here is the uh, report so what exactly report says is uh, we'll go ahead and look at it using a uh, subline this is the report file okay now if we look very closely we can see here that uh, signature queries for the computer name it will say that computer name is box ntvm queries and here is the check uh, checks amount of memory in the system so this malware goes ahead and checks the amount of memory in the system i don't think so that uh, any legitimate application will do this until it needs a specific memory to allocate itself okay this is the api call made by uh, made for this you know check next we uh, can see here that uh, some process crash reports next allocates read write execute memory usually to unpack itself which confirms that this is a packed you know uh, executable file this is the api call used to uh, you know achieve this goal and so on next you guys can see a complete list of you know uh, things here is the uh, again api call that is a uh, freeing virtual memory that is uh, that was allocated a lot of other things you guys can uh, interesting things uh, which you guys can clearly see here which can be used to you know analyze this uh, specific piece of malware okay i hope you guys have enjoyed learning it if you guys need anything else uh, please let us know subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Take care.